Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'll show you how to unlock any Samsung Galaxy from AT&T. In this case, I'm going to be using a Samsung Galaxy S5 and I'm going to unlock it to use it with my T-Mobile SIM card. So as you can see here on the right hand side, I have my two SIM cards. Uh, the one originally from AT&T because my phone was purchased here. But I'm, I'm going to show you how to unlock it step by step to use it with any SIM card out there in the world. As long as it's GSM SIM card. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. It is very, very simple and uh, you will only need your computer to unlock your phone. Now, before we start with the video, I have to mention that unfortunately, there is no possible way to unlock this phone for free, alright? We will have to pay a small amount, but trust me guys, it is worth every penny to have your phone fully unlocked. Alright, so let's start. So the first uh, step is to press star pound zero six pound. As you will see here in the screen, a 15 digit IMEI number will appear. That is very, very important, and uh, we're gonna use only the first 15 digits, ignore the last two, all right? This is probably the most important step of the whole unlocking procedure. So for now, we're gonna just put it here to the side, and uh, we're gonna switch to the computer because uh, we have to generate the unlock code using the computer. All right, so uh, you open your internet browser, I use Google Chrome, and you will have to go to the website unlockriver.com. In this website, we will request the unlock code to unlock this phone. So uh, we just have to fill in a couple of um, information here, a couple of uh, fields here. So we're going to start by selecting the original carrier of your phone. In this case, of course, it's AT&T, United States. So I'm just going to look down here and select AT&T. All right, so the next step is to select the original brand, of course, Samsung. And then you will select the exact product you're trying to unlock and the region. In this case, we're going to be unlocking a Samsung Galaxy S5 from USA AT&T. So just make sure you select it. You select the right, right product here, okay? So we're going to be unlocking that one. Let's click on that one. And the next step is the most important one. Here, you will have to type the 15-digit IMEI number we received in the uh, um, the 15-digit IMEI number we got at the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here. I already have it saved, so uh, just make sure it is 100% correct. Then you're going to write down your personal email where you want to receive your unlock code. And if you scroll down, you will see uh, an average delivery time and the price to unlock your phone. Okay, the price may vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier, and uh, model. So we're going to click the button unlock now, and you will see a page just like this. In this screen, just make sure you read everything. Uh, it is very, very important. And uh, after you have read everything, you click where it says pay with PayPal. Check out with PayPal. Now, as I promised, uh, I was going to show you exactly step by step how to do it. So I'm not going to skip the payment. I'm just going to make it really quick here. I have a PayPal account, so it takes like five seconds the most. It's really, really fast. All right, so we just click where it says pay now. And that's it. We just have to wait until we get a confirmation message saying that the payment was completed. That's it, you, you will get a message just like this saying thank you for your order, your unlock code is currently under process and they will email you the unlock code as soon as it is ready, alright? So uh, it can take 2 hours, 5 hours, 10 hours, 1 day, 2 days, 3 days, it depends on every phone, on every brand, on every country, it depends on your carrier as well. So I'm going to show you how the email will look like after you receive it. As you can see here, it says Unlock River, your unlock code is ready. That's the last email I received. So I'm just going to open that email and you will see that we received the unlock code here. So it's your Samsung unlock code is ready, step-by-step -step instructions on how to insert the unlock code. And of course, we get the unlock code to unlock this phone. Additionally, if the unlock code fails, you will have to enter the unfreeze code provided down here. All right, so I'm going to show you how to, to in, to, how to insert the unlock code into the phone. So we're going to power off the phone and you click OK to confirm. We're going to remove the back um, cover or uh, the back case of the phone. So um, we're just going to go ahead and take it off here. We remove the battery, of course, because we need to insert a new SIM card. So I'm just going to take it and pull it out here. And um, this is very important. In you have to insert a non-accepted SIM card. For example, my phone is from at and I'm going to use a different SIM card, one that is not from at and in this case, I want to use my, um, I want to unlock my phone to use it with T-Mobile. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. Hold on one second. Yeah, there we go. 
We just put in insert here the new SIM card you want to use your phone. Make sure it is a GSM SIM card, okay? Very important. And meanwhile, we're gonna power on the phone. So we're just gonna give it a couple of seconds until the Samsung phone is fully on, and um, we should get a request to insert the unlock code after it's fully on. So we're just gonna give it a couple of seconds. Of course, we see the AT&T logo. And uh, as you can see here, it says um, swipe to unlock. We're gonna swipe to unlock the screen and it will request us the SIM network unlock pin. That is uh, the unlock code we you receive in your email, um, the code you, you order from Unlock River. So just make sure you insert it here. Um, five, nine, six, eight, four, zero, zero, two. And we're gonna click where it says done and unlock. All right, and uh, we're gonna click where it says unlock, and we should get a confirmation message saying that the network was unlocked. Network unlock request unsuccessful. All right, no problem. Don't worry if you get the unlock code incorrect or unsuccessful. We're gonna insert the the first code you also receive in your email. So we're gonna insert that uh, code here. Um, one, three. We click where it says unlock, and it says. Network unlock successful. That's it, guys. Uh, this time it worked, and um, it is as simple as that. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments uh, section down below, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. We upload videos uh, every week, and um, that's it. I hope I helped you unlock your phone, and thank you for watching my video. Peace.